Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain one little device known as PCV Valve, how it can practically make you think you need a new engine. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. If you guys have a dot charger and you need to remove or replace PCV valve, you want to know how that little bitty device can actually destroy your engine, stay with us, we're going to explain that in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos on that dot charger. We'll have even more. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos, absolutely free. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your dot charger or any car, you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping, you want to save money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things what we have specifically specifically here 2018 dodge this is a 3.6 engine we'll be demonstrating on this is quite common engine on dot charger you have that cover that attaches with four rubber bushings so you just grab it and pull it straight up now right here if you come to the side you're going to notice that on that cylinder head right here cylinder head number one known as bank one we have that special device that's known as a pcv valve positive crankcase ventilation valve it stores the back here we're going to talk how it can destroy your engine and how it can actually guys make you think you need a new engine and then we'll explain okay how to replace it too so uh, first, what is a positive crankcase ventilation system? When the engine runs, pistons go up and down, you know, uh, explosions happen in the cylinder to push the piston down. You have a blow-by gas that will end up in the crankcase, the lower part of the engine, and it will climb to the cylinder heads, okay, because you have the oil passages, so everything's connected. That blow-by gas, okay, needs to come out of the engine, otherwise you will build internal pressure that will destroy your engine, and it will cause multiple oil leaks the first time. Uh, and they invented that PCV system where the PCV valve, okay, practically uh, the PCV system will separate the, those that, that gas fumes, uh, oil fumes from clean air. The oil fumes will leak back in the engine, the fumes will go, guys, okay, the clean air will go in the intake manifold right there and it will burn through the engine. Now, if that valve doesn't work correctly, you may experience increased okay increased oil consumption burning engine oil smoking building sludge on the inside of the engine internal pressure which can lead to multiple oil leaks and other things we have a special video that talks actually about guys okay about uh, the symptoms of bad pcv valve so now let's go ahead and explain how to replace it you can see the pcv valve is here we'll need a torx uh torx i believe it's a 25 star looking bit and we'll need to remove okay two screws one on top one on the bottom and we'll need to uh, disconnect the hose as well now this one will be uh, really really stuck so we might need to get a screwdriver okay let's see if we can pull it out Okay, I'll come from this side and show you. To break, careful not to break it. Okay, perfect, it came out. It's normal to have a little bit of oil in the hose, but if you have too much, that could be a definitely a sign of a failing PCV valve. The PCV valve is supposed to be replaced quite often. We have a special video that explains how often to replace PCV valve. Most people do not, and that little device can destroy your engine, guys. So make sure you keep up okay with the maintenance on your vehicle. So let's go ahead, get it loose now. Just two screws, one on top, one on bottom. Okay, one right there now. Hopefully we'll be able to get it soon. And it slipped again. It's a little bit inconvenient place, but eventually it will come out. Okay. Perfect. We got it. So we'll show you what it looks like. 
and if you want to know more about it and how it can destroy your engine guys we have a special video that talks about uh, the symptoms of bad PCV valve all right long long screws by the way or bolts let's see what we have bolts or screws there bolts and we need to do the top one you can see in which part of the engine we're working here perfect now we're going to go ahead pull it down and this is your pcv valve if you need to buy a replacement one we'll put a link in the description of the video below also we have a video that explains how to test pcv valve which is not very complicated but it's recommended to replace it quite often thank you for watching and see you guys next time